This is a quick demo of my blade. Um, it's called the Orthrus. Okay, it's a double-edged blade. It's the only knife on the market um, that is actually a fixed blade, but it has two positions. So it's a straight edge, straight blade, and it can be made into a karambit blade. Okay, some of the biggest features of this blade, I designed this blade pretty much from my tactical experience uh, about 20 years or so, more law enforcement based uh, for retention for a firearm, last resort type of blade. Every movement on this blade is a cutting movement, meaning whether you go forward or back, you're going to cut, right? Um, in retention, someone tries to take your gun from the back or from the front, whether you go backwards or you go forward, it, it will cut you, okay? Another big thing about the karambit style on this is you can actually stab with this blade. 90% of our karambits you will not be able to stab, you can only hook or cut with it, right? And most of them also are only one-sided blade. This is a double-sided blade. So everything you do with this blade, I wanted it to be a cutting or stabbing movement because it's based off self-defense weapon, right? This is actually a weapon. Um, so we wanted to bring a ballistic dummy uh, to kind of show what it can do, right? Um, I'm gonna have it in the Karambi style. I'm going to, there is an actual pole that runs through the middle of this. So I don't want to hit the pole, right? It's a metal bar. So I'm going to cut probably upward right here in the stomach area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and come all the way straight down, down his ribs, right? The upper ribs and then down the sternum. Just so he shows you the top blade and the back portion of the blade, how it cuts, right? Stabbing motion. So, we look at the bone. We're gonna try to puncture the bone, actually break the bone with the blade. So you can see we broke the bone, punctured the lung. Same exact thing on this side. Right there, I hit the pole in the back. There you go. And I'll do one more down here. That one ain't good. I broke the I broke the bone. I sliced the bone. So you can see how, how deep it goes, guys. So I'm not gonna put a lot of pressure in it. I'm just gonna stab with medium pressure. <laughs> Pretty much the whole blade's in there, so. In the abdomen, so usually in a, in a blade like this, however, when you do get cut, you notice how the skin or the gel here, but the skin would actually close up on you. A lot of people think that you automatically die. You, oh, you, like in the movies, right? Doesn't happen that way. Anything here down, it will close, the wound will close back up and then you start internally bleeding. And you'll probably live minute, two minutes or so and you will be, your stomach will grow unless you cut, slice it wide open and then your guts will be coming out. I have, we had cases like that before where there was a big knife, they cut them and then their intestines are actually falling out. But you can see just a basic knife like this, you can actually break bone with it and the ribs and everything. So, and it's not a lot, of, not, not too hard to, you know, stab it and break right through the bone, you know? So. Trying to, yeah. Uh, the lung, there's a lung shot right there. Pretty much there, once you hit it, you pull it back out. He just punctured the lung, so he's not gonna be able to breathe. He's pretty much done. Other side here. There we go. I got it in there. It's broken. So. Put some serrations on it. <laughs> there, I broke the rib. They say the knife is the gift that keeps giving, right?
Once you break one, I mean, people, it's pretty devastating, guys. It'll break right through your ribs with no problem. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. That's so sick. The whole back is slicing right open. <laughs> yeah, you got that reaper. How, how good was the back of the blade on the bone, you know? That's yeah, tough. With the serrations, you cut. It goes right through. It pulls it. It, 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 pulls, it literally pulls the bone out. Hardy wants to do that. Like, did it here? When I did it here, I, I stabbed it. Right, I stabbed it, and then when it when it came out, Dude, it hooked onto totally. it. Almost yeah. It hooked onto the fucking bone. There we go.